Hey everyone, in this video we will see how to write the structural Verilog code for 2 to 4 decoder. So before writing the code, just we will see the uh, gate level representation and truth table for the 2 to 4 decoder so that it will become very easy for us to analyze the code. So this is the truth table where enable is there, A and B are the inputs and Y3, Y2, Y1, Y0 are the outputs. So a decoder is something which converts the data. So it will now here it is converting from 2 bits to 4 bit data. So it can have multiple versions like 3 to 8 decoder, 4 to 16 decoder, 8 to 64 decoder. So where it will be converting from uh, uh, in uh, 3 to 8 decoder, a uh, 3 bit data will be converted to the 8 bit data. So, 3 bit data will be converted to 8 bit data. Like this, we will be having um, 8 is to 64 and 16 is to 164. Uh, like this, we will be having different combinations there. So, in particular, we will discuss about 2 to 4 decoder. So, how it will be uh, assigned. So, here 2 bit data is converted to 4 bit data here. So, basically, it is used in digital communication for compressing the data so that the amount of bandwidth uh, required for communication will be reduced and at the end it will there will be a decoder which will convert again this 4 bit data to the 2 bit data so that the original information can be recovered from that uh, the received signal so this is how where the application of uh, decoder we can see decoder as well as encoder so like mux and emux will be used in pairs uh, encoder and decoder also used in the pairs also pairs as well so uh, here you can see when enable is equal to 1 the uh, a and b values are not checked so enable means uh, if uh, uh, normally the decoders will be active low enable that means if enable value is equal to 0 at that time they will be operational if enable value becomes 1 at that moment they will be inoperational so why it is very important for us to give the enable value is enable will uh, decide whether the uh, 2 to 4 decoder will be in the operational or an in operational state so now uh, if the value of a and b is 0 0 the output will be decoded as 0 0 0 1 so if enable is 1 that means the uh, 2 to 4 decoder is in operational so the outputs will be anyhow 0 0 0 0 so it will don't care about what are the values of a and b so it will be working if and only if enable value is 0 so if uh, a and b value is 0 0 that means it is decimal when you convert it will be 0 so 0th bit will be high others will be 0 and if it is 0 1 then when you convert it to decimal it will become 1 so 1th bit will be high others will be 0 similarly for 1 0 second bit will be high for 1 1 third bit will be high and when you convert it in terms of the uh, boolean expressions with the help of kmap simplification and when you draw the circuit it will be something like this where you will be having a b and unable pins and their negations and four and gates are taken for the four outputs y0 y1 y2 and y3 and for first one a bar b bar and enable bar will be connected so as you can see for all the circuits enable bar is common so this will make sure that the uh, circuit is in operational state and for the second one a and b is connected for third one a and b bar is connected for fourth one a and b is connected as well so we will have a different uh, uh, types of connections for AND gates here so now we will see the how we can write the code so module decoder uh, so define the inputs and outputs here so this is uh, user defined guys you can give anything of your choice so I have given it as decoder so A, B are the inputs and enable is also input Y is the output here so define the inputs and outputs separately here input is A input is B then output 3 down to 0 vector then Y so we will be having Y3 Y2 to y1 y0 so it is taken in the vector form then input enable bar so enable bar is directly taken here then wire a bar and b bar so these are used for intermediate calculations that is a bar and b bar we have taken here so then uh, define the not so first we will be having uh, a bar so where it is a bar and this is v bar right so first to get the a bar use a not gate and assign it as n1 so it is also left to user what you want to give the name so as it is a not gate i have taken it as n1 okay so n1 output and input output comma input will be writing like this so output for this one is a bar and input is a here and for second not gate not 
for this one output is uh, so i have taken it as n1 and i have to take it as n2 so use different names no we don't use the same names then vbar will be the output and b will be the input for this one then similarly for this and gate and i have taken it as a1 why not is the output and a bar b bar and enable bar are the inputs a bar b bar and enable bar are the inputs and for second and gate that is a2 y1 is the output and a bar b comma enable bar are the inputs a bar b comma enable bar are the inputs so whatever this connected here that i am writing in terms of the equation here so and a3 for that is output is y2 and the inputs are a b bar and enable bar and for a4 the output is y3 and inputs are a b and enable bar a b and enable bar are the inputs here so like this we'll be writing the uh, gate level representation in terms of uh, different equations and then end module so uh, started a module we will be ending this module here so i hope you like this video and understood the content and i have made a whole playlist of uh, xilinx model sim coding guys please check the playlist for more videos and thank you for visiting our channel thank you thanks for watching